I've grown up with this river. Um, as a young boy, I've been on this river with my father. Read them in. Now, Trapper Bradshaw is a father, fishing on the south fork of the Snake River with his own son. Can you tell him what kind that is? It's rainbow trout. Actually, you know what? That's a hybrid. Catching a hybrid means non-native rainbow and cutthroat trout are crossbreeding. Genetic researcher Matt Campbell explains why this is a threat to Idaho's native fish. When you get a, a juvenile produced from mating between rainbow trout and cutthroat, oftentimes we think we have an individual that's not really suited to either one of the environments of its parent species. The next two individuals both have a Yellowstone cutthroat allele and a rainbow trout allele. So we know that the two individuals on the bottom are hybrids. To learn the scope of hybridization in the South Fork, Idaho Fish and Game turned to genetics for answers. One initial thought by a lot of people was that any place that we stocked uh, rainbow trout, we would find hybrids and we would find extensive hybridization. And we didn't find that. Eleven is a miss. We found uh, hybridized populations and we also found a lot of pure populations. Oh, look at him jump! To protect the native cutthroat fishery, anglers are harvesting rainbow and hybrid trout on the South Fork. But identifying hybrids can be tough. Fins actually really look like a cutthroat. Look at this one, you know, this is probably one of the harder fish I've ever had to ID before. Geneticists are pinpointing how rainbow traits might show up in a hybrid to help anglers harvest the right fish. There is the yellow, or the pink, you can see it right there. Yeah. Somewhere down the line he's been crossed up with a rainbow trout. I think we better take him home. Here. We take him home for dinner? Yes. Michael Keckler, Idaho Fish and Game.